Today I'm going to lay out a uh, flat on top, straight or 90 degree T. I'm going to go ahead and draft the front view and side view for this T. Now you're going to notice this T has a main pipe diameter of four and the small intersecting pipe, which is the T, is three inches. This T is going to be located flat on top or straight on one side. So let me finish both sketches, the front view and side view. This demonstration will show you how to develop the T-pattern and also the main pipe with the hole. If I only wanted the T, which in most cases we do, I would only require the side view to fabricate the appropriate T. But in order to draw the whole pattern, I need the front elevation also. Now I'm going to draw the profiles on both views and then I will follow by dividing them into six equal spaces. Now I'm adding the element lines, or are also called the measurement lines, I'm dropping them down until they hit the main T. On the front view, I do the same, but I extend them a little lower because I know that the intersecting line must be added. You can see here, I, I have chosen to number this T in this manner, one to seven. I'm locating the seam at seven and on the side view I add the corresponding numbers. The X represents the seam which is on the back side if you were looking at the front view but in a side elevation you can see it on the right side. Now I need to project all my points from the side view over to my measurement lines on the front view. This is line five. Five is almost at the same level as number four, but you need to trust these points and continue to bring them over to the front elevation. 
six over horizontally. And last would be number seven. Here you noticed on the back side, the miter does not go down as far as it does on the front side. Now let's start laying out the T pattern. We know the T stretch out needs to be three times pi. Which will give us nine and seven sixteenths. Now we must divide this 9 and 7 sixteenths, or the stretch out, into 12 equal spaces. And I am using the slant rule method. Go from 0 to 12 at an angle, and make a mark at every inch. Draw all your element lines, or measurement lines, downward. Now we must start with the seam for this T. And we know that the seam is at number seven. So my pattern, I started with seven and continued six, five, four, and so on. Here you see me just transferring all of the element line measurements to its pattern. This is three and five, two and six, this is a flat on top T. The main pipe is six inches long and it has, it is a four inch diameter. Therefore the circumference will be four times pi. I'm gonna need a piece of metal, 12 and nine sixteenths by six. This is point C, or center line. Bisect the circumference, or the stretch out, and draw a vertical line up, which will be right here. It's the same thing as this C. That's your center line. Now take distances on the radius of your side view from center line to number four, center line to number four. Take the time to mark all your points and so on. Four to three. three to two. Again, make sure you're on the arc.
and then two to one. And that will do it for the left side of the center line. Now we need to transfer what's on the right side of that center line. And you can see we've got a small distance from center line to five. From five to six and six to seven. At all those points, draw vertical lines up. Now we're going to try to establish the hole. These distances are coming from the side of the front view. You will notice my needle of my compass stays on the side where the projection line came across to match its points on the vertical element lines. That's number two. This would be three. And there is another three. That's three. Let's do the same for four. Follow the lines where four crosses the edge of that side. This would be number four. And this is the other number four. Let's keep doing the same for five. And then there's another five further away. Six comes down, crosses over. That's where you want to be to find both sixes. Finish off with the one number seven, and you will have all your points. There, all the points for the hole are established.
All you need to do now is add seams and connectors to complete this T. If you find these tutorials helpful, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel.